Hello, welcome back to RC Nerd Right. I've just put the Unimog onto the bottom subframe and there's nothing being done here so it's not ready yet, it's not gonna go on, it's just test day. I thought I'd show you the lights when they're all rigged up and how I did it and what I put it on and so it's just gonna be a little talk really. So everybody's seen the Unimog, there it is there. It still hasn't got the mirrors on so it's not finished, I'm just testing today. Um Literally, there are the lights, these are indicators, but I'm going to leave them as they are. Under it, yet. Yeah. Yeah, no. I've actually got... I've got a single lipo, well, yeah, a single lipo. And literally, what I did, I stuck them on some GSTs there. Underneath isn't connected properly because I've still got to take this off. So when you turn it on now, you get the lights, which are green LEDs, bright, very bright LEDs, and they are quite, they are quite bright, as you can, which probably see on my hand from here, you know. So the, the looms there, so to speak. So and if you look inside, I've just noticed the dashboard's coming off a little bit. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know you can't see this, but it's actually got the the dash is on the way out. But it's well, it's not on the way out. It's come loose. Um, let's have a look here. Come up, there you go. Sorry, I'm trying to show you what I mean. Bit of the dashboard has come away. The lexa needs to be taken off, so I'll have to re-glue that and seal it. But if you can see that, I'm trying to get behind it for you. Um, there you go. So that's the light for the dash. And there's the the lights for the front. So literally, it's nothing. It's not too much. Um, but that's what I've done anyway. And it, it's got its own switch as well, on and off switch. And the best thing is I put it on an off switch and a lipo. Uh, because it's easier, I can snag that and hide it in the back of the passenger seat. So that's that done now. Um, what I'm doing, getting ready, and what I'm using to make the framework out of. I know I'm using my hands today, so I can't be asked to put my tripod up. Got an old one of these um, disabled pick em up things, so I've marked it, and it's good tubular aluminium. So I'm going to. Cut it down and make the frame out of that and add it to there. So let's see how this one turns out. Um, saves me five or six pounds for metal, which I can't be asked paying for. So, so what I'm going to have to do now, I'm going to have to. Thing, I've got to put the magazines in there because they actually sit. He used to sit on there, so I'm going to put like a waggy mag there and a waggy mag there. Um, I was going to put a, a dog on the passenger seat, but. Can't be bothered, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, I think it looks really well. I'm actually, proud of it that now I've got a light per rig to it with its own switch, and I can put that on a third channel when I get it. So, but the best thing is when you turn them lights on, you can see this the dash lights come on as well, so it acts like a real midnight light as well. So, the, the lights come on, so there you go. Hope you like it, and I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da!